Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we're gonna to talk about sistering joists and how we did that to create a curved deck versus a rectangular one. So if you like this video, don't forget, click that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. All right, so what we have here is we had an existing deck that was tile. It was very heavy. It had plywood, cement board, and heavy tile and mortar and grout all on top of these things called LVLs. Now what an LVL is, is an engineered joist. LVL stands for laminated veneered lumber, which what they do is they take a bunch of plywood strips and they glue them all together and they put them under heat and pressure to create a very strong and very long piece of material. So this LVL, will span a very long distance. It minimizes the squeaks inside of a floor joist. So as you look up, you'll see an orange joist. That orange joist is the LVL. The pressure treated hemlock with all the incisions in it, that's the part that we added. So the LVLs stuck out of the house six feet. They're 16 inches on center. So those LVLs go 24 feet back into the house. And then they cantilevered six feet out past the house and it was a very structural, almost over-engineered because these LVLs are almost, they're about an inch and three quarters thick. So they're thicker than a standard joist and they're like 12 inches wide. So they're inch and three quarters by 12 inches. And I was, I was holding on just one of them and trying to get some deflection out of it. And I didn't get a whole lot of deflection. So what we did is we took exterior liquid nails glue and we wanted to create a curve to this deck instead of it being straight. So what I did was I put at the peak of the center of the deck, I extended an extra two feet. So I took two by 12 joists and I cantilevered two feet beyond the cantilever joist. Then we glued those up. So I put a, a pattern of glue high and low top and bottom, and we glued up every every piece of the LVL on the side of it, stuck my joist to that, and then we put Fasten Master headlocks, yeah, about every two feet, I would say, so those headlocks don't go through. They actually penetrate into the LVL, but they don't stick out the backside. So they're a two and seven eighths inch fastener. So I have eight fasteners per LVL plus the glue to get me that extra two feet that I need for the curve. And then as the curve decreases towards the back side of the house, that cantilever beyond the LVL becomes less and less and less till eventually we were actually cutting the LVLs away. But because the LVLs were actually tapered, somebody had taken the LVL and they cut a drainage to them because when they cut, put the tile on here, they had to have drainage for the water to drain off. So we actually took our joists and we leveled them up. And then what I did was we did the ends of each a part of the deck. We leveled up our joists there. We did the middle, we leveled up our joists there. Then we ran a string line from the middle of the deck to the corner of the deck. And then we glued and screwed all of our new joists to the LVLs, but we brought them up to level so that we have a level plane. We also waterproofed this deck, but it's done differently with a waterproof bladder. Now this time when we did our waterproof bladder, we actually drained the bladder back towards the house because we're gonna have a gutter company come out and put a gutter right on the house so that it travels to the corner and then they can tie it right into the existing downspouts with the existing drainage. So it was a really great way for us to figure out how to get rid of the water and keep it contained so it doesn't just flood the yard or into the drain field or something like that. So this way you can see on the house, we have our baffles over here and the gutter is gonna be attached right to the house. And then those baffles, the water will drain right up against those baffles and drop right into the gutter. The reason I'm telling you this about the waterproof bladder is because these LVLs cannot get wet. They must remain dry. This deck has been fully installed. The only thing we don't have done is the soffiting over here. We have to install a railing first as well. Once that's done, then we can get the soffiting in and then this section of the deck will be done but we still have to trim those LVLs down a little bit on the bottom because they're sticking down too far because we had to raise up our joists to make them level. There's a little bit of a clearance issue there. So we'll get to that later. That's how we sistered and glued up our frame to create that extra length we needed so we could create the curve on this deck.
So I hope that helps somebody out there. If you did get something out of this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to like this video, share it around, and thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.